We actually sent Alessandra Palmer on to both Beachside and to Koi Creek this week to, to learn about this growing rivalry. Six weeks are complete, which means we're already halfway through the high school football season. Our week seven game of the week is the Surf and Turf Bowl between Beachside and Tequoia Creek. Two teams who are both 4-1 and one this season. We've gotten better. It's the biggest thing. I was talking to the guys early in the year. We don't want to peak early. Um, it's a good thing. We're playing good football against um, our toughest part of our schedule. I'm really proud of our our team, like chemistry, all coming together. We've been clicking real well these past couple weeks. And their first half success isn't out of the blue. I was really confident. I knew, I said in the beginning of the season that we were going to do good this year. Uh, I wouldn't call it a surprise, but I'm happy we're doing good. It's not really a surprise. It's just like a testament to the work we put in as a, like a team. These are the two newest schools in St. Johns County. Beachside opened three years ago, while Dequoy Creek opened four years ago. Stuff that was really a chore you know from how to line up and how to practice and how to do the weight room all that stuff it's kind of become easier for that so we can focus more on just the football part of it um, and so they've done a good job buying into all of that and so we're starting to reap a little bit of those benefits from year three with the same kids you may say that both programs early success in part is due to luck but the majority of the success is because of the great athletes that grow up in St. John's County. We have a kids that show up every single day and work their butts off in the summer, which has been great for us. Um, so we can, we can push them hard and they get better fast because they're here to work every single day. The Barracudas are coming off back-to-back 41-point -back games while limiting opponents to single digits. The Toros are coming off a big win over County Powerhouse and Bartram Trail. Both of us, us and Beachside, are beating programs that have been around forever. It's, it's a good thing to see. I'm just really proud of our kids, and we got to continue to build and excel. After a big win, um, it's challenging sometimes that next week, and if we have a letdown on Friday, Beachside is going to put us on, put it on us, so we got to be prepared, ready to rock and roll. Now it's time for the Barracudas and Toros to go head-to-head -head in Week 7. Then both teams close out their seasons with four tough matchups against talented teams. Looking down the line, we have the bulk of our um, district coming up. So we have three of those games. And it's the same focus for every game to try to win. But obviously, those mean more because it counts towards playoffs. I'm Alessandra Pomper, Channel 4, The Local Station.